Right, hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now, some of you may remember that some time ago I did a video uh, showing uh, me taking apart this 5B sound box. That's it there. And uh, I, I sort of took it apart because I was having problems with it. I actually, my fault, I broke it. I, I had it on this, this, um, this gramophone and the lid came down and bang! It wasn't very happy afterwards. So I, I did a repair on it. I got it sort of working again and it seemed okay. But eventually it it just went wrong. It just started buzzing and making strange noises. So it was absolutely useless. I mean, I just could not use it. So I've been watching a channel called Mr. R, Mr. RG Stuff. And uh, there's a link going to be, in, or, so you can click on this. And, and I left a cheeky comment and I said, how would you look? Because I know he likes repairing stuff and fixing stuff and fiddling around with stuff. And I put in a comment, would you like to have a go at repairing my 5B sound box? <laughs> I thought, oh, you're going to be very happy with this. Anyway, he came back and went, yeah, sure. So <laughs> that was great. So what I did, we got in contact with email and uh, we exchanged uh, addresses and everything. And I sent him this sound box, which was making a real racket. Here is what it sounded like, because I don't think I recorded how it sounded like because I was quite ashamed with it, really. I thought, oh my God, I'm just... Here's what it sounded like, and this is from his channel. And now this is uh, him making some repairs. So he took it for bits apart. So I'm gonna show you a few seconds of the video of when he was taking it all apart and, and stuff like that. Now what is interesting I didn't realise is that the uh, the um, needle bar, which is this bit here, doesn't go all the way through. So on pretty much every other diaphragm that I've seen, um, it goes through and it's, and it's secured yeah. from the other side. Uh, because I think I'm a, I am actually going to take the needle bar out. And one of the reasons, and I'm not sure if I can fix this, but one of the reasons is that the diaphragm isn't actually sort of central. Um, in the back there it actually sort of touches a bit over here and that's not great and uh, with the ones that I've uh, looked at before I've sort of tweaked the tweaked the needle bar around a bit and um, sorted it out but I can't really do that with this um, you can't really tweak the needle the needle bar off um, off a 5b it's just it's not that sort of thing it's a it's a folded piece of metal by the looks of it right so he played it he made it he, he... Once you put it all back together again, he played it and it seemed to work fine from his point of view. He, he put it on, he did some tests and everything and it sounded okay. Certainly it sounded great to me as I was watching the repair. Anyway, I got it back. I had it in a box that I sent him in a box and I got it back. Uh, a little while ago, I haven't had time to record this, but I mean, uh, uh, and I'm going to try it now. Now, I found a record with a, a female vocal on it, which I think will put it for its paces. And uh, we're going to do a recording now and just to see how it sounds. Does it, has it survived the postage? Mm. Has anything gone wrong with it since it's come back? Hopefully not. So let's have a little go. Let's have a listen and see what it now sounds like. Right, so I've I fitted the sound box. Uh, I fitted the sound box onto the tone arm there, and I've chosen this record, which I think I might have uploaded before actually, which is um, "Double Crossing Papa" by Rosetta Crawford, and I think her vocal on here, the vocal part, will uh, will give the uh, will give the five B a good test. Um, so let's just try it and just to see. Hopefully, no more buzzing sounds. <laughs> I'll cheat with all the men. You said you was fishing when you say I'll play. Any fish will bite if you've got good bait. So I'm going fishing tonight, you see. You dirty mistreater, you can't double cross me. Right, well, there you are. Um, it's sounding absolutely perfect, and I'm really, really, really happy. Uh, with that and he did a fantastic super job and I, I did manage to uh, sort out some uh, 78 for him as, 
as payment as well. <laughs> so yeah, a great, a great, um, a great, a great recovery from this this sound box, which um, really was uh, was very very poorly. So once again, I'd like to thank Mr. R. G. Stuff for doing a cracking job on re repairing this, and also there's a link now coming up um, there. <laughs> For you to click on that and see the full repair on how he did this smashing stuff so anyway there you go that's for that i'll catch you guys later i'm going to have a little cold drink now already and uh i'll find my pipe so i'll just put it down somewhere oh, here it is i'll have a quiet smoke bye thanks for watching this and i'll see you again soon